Hi kids! Today we will learn about different cycles we experience. Like it's day after every night. Like it's summers after every winter. There is a Monday after every Sunday. And so on. So let's start. Daily meals. Kids, we take three to four meals a day. First we have breakfast, then lunch, dinner, and then again breakfast in the morning. So it's also a cycle. Days of the week. We have days of the week, Sunday to Saturday, and then again Sunday. So it's to a cycle, months of the year. We have months of the year. January to December, and then again, January. So it's to a cycle. Now let's learn some more cycles, which are not that easy to understand. They are a bit complicated, like, it's a day after every night. Now let's try to understand how does it happen. Kids, we live on a planet which is named as Earth, and it's called a blue planet because 70% of the Earth is covered with water. Kids, have you ever wondered how do we experience day after night, then again day and night? So, let's see how does it all happen. First of all, let's see what is axes of Earth. Axis is a straight line passing through the center of the Earth, and our Earth rotates around this axis like this. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation along its axis, and this rotation is a reason for what we see as day and night. As while rotating, the side which faces the sun experiences daytime and the other side experiences the night. In one full turn, we have a day and a night, and in between, we have afternoon and evening. As the Earth rotates, the amount of light reaching any particular place changes and that gradual change caused morning to afternoon, afternoon to evening, and eventually night. And then again, the gradual change in position causes night to morning, morning to afternoon, and afternoon to evening, and eventually night, and so on. And this cycle goes on morning to afternoon, afternoon to evening, evening to night, night to again morning. Now let's see some more cycles and its seasons. Seasons. While the earth is rotating around its own axes, it is also revolving around the sun and it takes 365 days to make one complete trip around the sun, which we call as one revolution, and it's called one year. And as the Earth is slightly tilted on its axes, that is, one portion of the Earth is tilted towards the sun and one away from the sun. The portion that is tilted towards the sun experiences more heat and light, and we say it's summers there. And the portion which is tilted away from the sun experiences less heat and light, and we say it's winters there. In some part of revolution, the north part of the earth is tilted towards the sun, and so north experiences summers and south experiences winters, and in other parts of revolution, 
the north part is tilted away from the sun and the south tilted towards the sun. So in that part, north experiences winters and south experiences summers. So kids, we learned rotation of the earth is responsible for changing days and nights. Revolution of earth is responsible for changing seasons all through the year. So kids, today we learned about various cycles we experience in our daily lives. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.